favorable terms right. to, I guess. Nikki Haley, because I was voting against Donald Trump. And what, what propelled you to get to this? I'm point? stupid. I want to, uh, I'm 74 years old. I've lived in a constitutional democracy all my life. I want to remain that way, and I want my grandchildren to be Wait a minute. That's where you messed up, um, lady. You've lived in a constitutional democracy? Incorrect. It's a constitutional republic. Representative. Wow. See, there you go. See, the more the more you learn. Grow up in one. And, Not a dictatorship. And I'm curious, over the last two elections, um, mm -hmm. have you voted Trump in the past? Was it something where you voted for him, you trusted him, and you were disappointed? Yes, I voted for him in 2016. I am a registered Republican. <laughs> a and damn fool. I, I regretted that vote almost immediately. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, especially on his trip to Europe where he insulted our allies and praised Putin. Oh, Jesus. And, then, and why? She watches um, MSNBC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what that is. Damn. That's disgusting. Yeah, we called <laughs> it yesterday. That's who's ruining the country. That person right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That. Yeah. She. I mean. Yeah. You, we went across the country and embarrassed okay. constitutional democracy, just like okay. Rachel said. Jeez. Well, and I, I was going to say, all these other countries, they love us, especially with Joe Biden in charge, because we just get bent over, and they just give it to us dry, and of course they love us. We show up with the bags of money now. How much do you need? Sure. Here's money. Here, money for you. Money for you. Of course they love Joe Biden. And let's Donald just, Trump shows up and says, pay your goddamn share, you know. Let's just uh let's let's go back on let, let's let's run a, a an inconvenient truth about NATO. Half of them were our enemies in World War II. That's true. That's true. And we paid to rebuild what we, yes, we did. The what Marshall we, Plan what we destroyed. <laughs> We blew everything up and paid for everything to get rebuilt. For and our way right. yes, streets are still the same. Winning the debt, paying for for all that stuff, and then um, uh, offered them a certain amount of money every year for years because of what we did. So, I mean, they talk about the the dropping two nuclear bombs like that was the biggest thing that happened in the world. That's not true. We burned Japan to the ground. Mm -hmm. Before those two bombs went off, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. McNamara was a was in charge of it, and I'll tell you what they, Japan, all their cities were made out of wood. As yep. a matter of fact, in some regions the walls were paper. Yep, and they dropped incendiary bombs, and once that happened, the whole damn town lit up. The same thing we did in Germany and Dresden, firebombed yep. them. Well, we're seeing it in real time in Ukraine. It's just not our soldiers fighting. We funneled billions of dollars into Ukraine through military industrial complex. All the politicians get their kickback and the contracts to rebuild are already signed. Yeah. So at whatever point they pull the plug on it, <laughs> in rocket. comes BlackRock, in comes uh -huh. the property developers. Mm -hmm. And then you know who gets kicked back on the backside? The politicians that yeah, approve the war. Lindsey Graham and Nikki yep. Haley, sure. Yeah, I mean, and it's I, like the scam is I right there. that vote almost immediately. <laughs> uh, especially on his trip to Europe where he insulted our allies and praised Putin. And then in 2020, was that enough for you to change your vote to Joe Biden? Yes, absolutely. Why did you feel the need to, to cross party lines? Because I want the world to be a safe place. I believe in a strong NATO. My father oh. fought in World War II to defeat fascism. I want it to remain defeated. You know, New Hampshire is such a unique place. She wanted to remain defeated. She got it. You all get to actually see all of the candidates come here. In some cases, I'm sure get to meet them and even hear from mm -hmm. them uh, directly. What what impressed you most about Nikki Haley? Um, well, actually, I was a pro Chris Christie. Mm. Oh, <laughs> he was a wonderful governor. Wonderful. Um, New Jersey's the place to be. Um, she's what's left. Yeah. <laughs> so you were disappointed when Chris Christie got out of the race. Um, what she you basically didn't think that you would support anyone like DeSantis and obviously not Trump. So Nikki Haley was uh, your the candidate you settled for. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you feel good about her chances here in the state? 
Not uh, well, according to the news reporting, no. But I, I'm, I'm hoping that we surprise you. Yeah. Republican in New Hampshire. People like that get to vote. That's just insane. Yep. Um, for those for those that are watching, we uh, we're kind of analyzing like what happened last night in New Hampshire. President Trump won. Uh, as one going away, he got the most votes that anybody's ever gotten in that state during the primary. Um, and uh, Nikki Haley came in second, and everybody else was so way far behind. You know, if Christie would have lasted, I think he would have came in second. Haley wouldn't have. Chris, Christie would have came in second. Um, but with that said, uh, Nevada, I think uh, they did their caucuses, but they also are doing something else. And uh, Donald Trump is getting Donald Trump won that one already. South Carolina is next. South Carolina is next. And um, Nikki, she has 30 days. She has 30 days to, to, um, because I heard she was 25 or 30 down in South Carolina. Is that right? She has uh, 30 days to make up. Make up some, um, make up some. Well, here's what's interesting, and I'm actually was just pulling it up on the South Carolina website. Mm -hmm. You can vote in either primary, but you can only vote in one, is what they're saying. So I think they could try the same move that they did in New Hampshire. Switch over and then switch back. Well, yeah, switch over, but the Democrat one's way is later than the Republican one. So the Republican one is like ten days from now on a week from Saturday. And so it looks like, according to the South